Missouri. It was a really interesting team. Uh, you know, Drinkwitz, another year, another year, another year for that guy. Uh, lose guys like Dominique Lovick, Isaiah McGuire, Martez Manuel. But uh, like they were in a lot of close games last year, games that slipped away from them a little bit, and they'd still finished six and seven, a little including higher than Georgia. I thought. They were, including Georgia was a kind of a slip away game. Um, they went and they 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 may have gotten some guys in the transfer portal, a couple guys, more de- more so depth than anything. But Brady Cook. Uh, was declared captain the other week of this team, right? There was a battle between him, Jake Garcia, Sam Horn. Um, he was named captain. So my belief is that, you know, Brady Cook is probably going to be the starting quarterback headed into week one. And uh, honestly, <laughs> that makes me not want to take the over. I lean over. If it was Jeff Garcia that was starting, uh, or Jake Garcia, sorry, then I would – I would probably hit it, I think. But I just I've seen a lot of Brady Cook. I don't know if I'm like a gigantic fan, you know. But the but the offense still should be good. Theo Theo Weist, Theo Weiss they get from the mm-hmm. transfer portal seems pretty good at receiver. Cody Schrader is a very good running back. And uh I think offensive line, they're a little bit underrated. A little, a little underrated there, I think. Um so I really like this team a lot. And the defense is fine. Mm-hmm. Defense is fine. So I actually I lean over six and a half. What about you? Again, yeah, I lean over. I think what what draws me away is not necessarily the quarterback position because I think Brady Cook was hurt a little bit. I think the O-line was interesting last year. Obviously, he had talent around him, which he didn't really maximize. I think, well, Don Lovett actually had a great year. Luther Burden's a stud. Um, I, I I think that schedule, Kansas State out of conference is brutal in week three. Yeah. I think Kansas State's a team we're both high on in the Big 12. And you got to go, your, your, your crossovers are at Arkansas which is not easy to play. And then LSU, which was probably a loss. So um, I, I think there's there's four games that you're, you're going to be playing that should be a loss, that you shouldn't win. And it's and so it's going to be up to you to, to steal a game from South Carolina. You know, you got to maybe, you know, Tennessee or Kansas State or Arkansas. Like, got got to, got to beat some teams that you probably shouldn't necessarily beat or that maybe you're not favored in. And I believe is that Memphis week four too. That's I mean that's not gonna be it's not easy. It's not like you're playing you know an FCS squad. I mean Memphis is had some talented players there. Um, I think they're not as worried about the losses they have on the offense though. With Dom Lovett, I think he's obviously was really productive for him and caught a million passes. But with Eli Drinkwich, I think that's kind of expected to be in the slot receiver. I think they they move Luther Burden there. And I think they're really really excited about him, and I think they got guys to replace Luther Burden. On the outside, moving the inside, I think they got some guys that can replace him on the outside. So the the, the drop off shouldn't be too bad um, in that wide receiver room. And then they got a new O line coach, right? Um, comes over from Houston, I think. Uh, Cameron Johnson brings over him with him. Uh, Marcellus, I think, yeah, Marcellus comes over from Eastern Wash, Eastern Michigan. I'm sorry. Um, so hopefully it, it improves a little bit next year. I don't know how your depth is. On the offensive line again, which is hesitates me from taking your over. Um, but I think talent wise, this team's better than last year, but they might be the same record as last year, right? And which would be frustrating for Missouri fans, but um, it's just the reality of the SEC you're, you're playing. And yeah, I mean, like you said, like this is a seven win team with a five win schedule, right? So it's like, yeah. it's tough that way, but gonna meet in the middle. Yeah, I like this team a lot. And uh, look, I don't think Drinkwitz is doing a terrible job there. I don't, I don't think it's I don't think he's doing a terrible job. So um, I'm excited for their season, and I I do think I think they're gonna catch someone big lacking. I think they will. I think it might be Tennessee at home. Uh, it could be LSU too. That that that's one game. I know I'm super high on LSU, but it could be LSU. They get them at home, week six. That that's another game that uh, LSU should have circled on their calendars, but maybe it's um. Uh, Maybe for LSU, it's a little bit of a look-ahead game, you know, because I believe they play – well, they get Auburn next week after that, after Missouri. So maybe it's not so much of a look-ahead game. But, uh, yeah, I I like this team a lot. So any any other thoughts on this guy? Defensively, it was kind of surprising last year and how good it really was compared to the offense. You were hoping the offense would be good. Uh, but the defense was the strength last year, and it, 
they bring a lot of those guys back. They return five of the top six tacklers. Obviously, you got to replace Isaiah McGuire. That's not going to be easy. DJ Coleman as well. Uh, Martez Manuel, a, a defensive back. But, um, yeah, I think uh, your depth is fine in the secondary. I think you got some returning corners. Uh, that you feel pretty solid about Darius Robinson's a guy that uh, an all SEC kind of caliber player um, at edge. I don't know how you're going to, you know, rush the passer, you know, last year um, sack percentage was pretty damn good. Right. So, so how are you going to blitz more with Tyrone Hopper? Like what's going to happen there to replace some of that production from um, Isaiah McGuire and DJ Coleman. But um, they obviously like, um, I, I trust, I think that, Hopefully they're going to do a pretty good job with, with the talent they have there. I think Missouri's going to be a, a tough out for anybody in the SEC. But again, can they get the seven wins? I don't know.